Hello everyone, welcome to the true finale of Let's Play Spider-Man. Last episode, we defeated Doc Ock, but we got beaten hard by Carnage. So here, let's go defeat Carnage. Let's give him hell. Give him total carnage. No wait, maximal carnage is technically the comic book. I was referring to the arcade in the game by Midway. The one that's kind of like Smash TV. Total carnage! He's like, So you take my life, but I'll take yours too. Seeing as how the only two. Then who's gonna stop me? What makes you think you can? Fuck! Oh. Man, this is nice like... try! Not benefiting me. What? Get up, get up, get up. What? Push up in there! Ah, crap. Nice try! I got, I got an advantage! There we go. Golden. There we go, I'm able to grab it then. Okay, and I got myself in a position I can punch him. What? She sees there's a way to delay him. Just run around, grab some health. No more fun. Technically, spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. Spiders only have eight. Come here! Die! 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 Ah! Oh my god. This is gonna probably get a lot of complaints, isn't it? I share your sympathy if you guys feel feel this is what the hell? The hopping in the camera. Nice try. Yeah. Man, this fight is so annoying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is kind of where some of the game's mechanics didn't feel age. Granted, Carnage is technically the last true fight. In a sense... Yeah, I got time. Let's just run around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's... Can I run around? Ha <laughs> ha! Now the tables are being turned to my advantage. <sighs> There we go, now I got it. More or less. Nice try! <laughs> Why are they giving me web cartridges? Really, they're not gonna do anything for this fight. Health packs are your friend. Luckily, this is where the health packs actually respawn together. It's like the thing with this fight is you gotta knock him in the bubble. Which can be a bit of an easier said than done type of task. Especially since the mechanics in this game, like I said, are a bit dated. I mean, still a great game, but a bit aged. Take care of you. I can't care 
carry any more cartridges. There we go. I have triumphed viewers, and it only took about technically. If I had trouble with this guy, I'd hate to see how dark side Phil fared against them. I mean, I don't, really, I don't really remember the Carnage video, but that's because mostly the Mysterio one was pretty much the whole highlight of the video next to the Venom race. Okay, now we are at the final, true final level of the game. Time to escape. You are a born loser, Cletus Cassidy. Like I told Mysterio, no one can control the symbionts. No one I've met anyway. Take a breather, Spidey. It's over. Well, oh, just another day in the life. Whoa! What the? Uh, is it Rock? Monster Rock. If there's any comics, expect me to ignore them at this point, because here... Yeah, let's just ignore that comic. The bit goes up. Small one to zip line up quickly. Let's just ignore it. It's just... I just need to focus on just getting out of here. Focus on getting out of here. Notice something. He just left Carnage to die. <laughs> hey, it's Captain America. It's a good thing Black Cat gave me a call, son. Looks like just in time. Baby Spidey, can you get us Captain America's autograph? Oh, brother. Punisher, do you have any threes? Go. 
So, nice of you to join us for once, Spidey. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out saving the world. Reading you guys at cards, that'd be pretty easy. Your spider sense won't save you here. Look who's talking, Daredevil. You've been looking at my cards all night. I don't need to look at your cards, Punisher. Your bluffs are so obvious. Okay, okay. Let's keep this a nice, friendly, clean game. Ugh. Who keeps inviting this guy? Hey, will you guys keep it down? Hey, listen up, kids. I'm on fire! Wait, hold on. Time out. All of you guys were working together, and you still couldn't take down Spider-Man? <gasps> It's not my fault. Doc Ock's plan was horrible. Everyone knows you can't control the symbiotes. Hey, wait. So, I'm a rhino, you're a scorpion, and he's an octopus. What's a Mysterio? <laughs> so, rhino, you got any threes? Uh, hey! Hey, I got a bingo! Ha ha! You guys think you're so smart, but I won! Ha! Who's your daddy, Doc? Huh? Ha ha ha! Victory is mine! You're always laughing at me, but who's crying now, huh? Ha 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 ha! Wait a minute, I made a mistake. And that's supposed to imply that there was a sequel, and there was a sequel made in 2001 called Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro, only released for the PlayStation, though, and it wasn't developed by Neversoft. Instead, it was done by Vicarious Visions. I actually rented that back in the day, and eh, it wasn't as good as this one. It, it was just average. I didn't even beat it. I just, like, returned it after and just rented a better game, I think. So, what do I think of this game? Definitely one of the best superhero games ever made. Such a nostalgic favorite of mine. Like one of my, my first Spider-Man game, the game that actually introduced me to the web slinger himself. So I have a lot of like love for this game. However, in the end, even though it has some ages as well, it's still a fun game to play. I say, if you can find it for a decent price, go get it. You're not missing anything. I mean, you will, you will be missing out if you don't get this. I think probably after this, I will probably finish my Resident Evil Let's Play after I get done my vacation. So I decided to do this so that way I can have a completed Let's Play. I have to love this little cool Spider-Man remix of the 1967 cartoon theme song. Which is the other thing it's known for besides being the source of those hilarious... Spider-Man 60s babes. Oh, and the reason why he's in the symbiote suit, once you beat the game for the first time, you actually unlock the symbiote suit, and if you beat it twice, you, I believe you get the... No, wait, that's if you collect all the comic books, you get the Spider-Man 2099 suit. If you beat the game twice, I think you get Spider-Man Unlimited. Beat the game on hard, you get... You get Captain Universe. And the ver all the various costumes, you have to do other things, like... I think with Peter Park, you have to do training mode, do item collecting, and find Craven's secret room. I forget how it works. Like, essentially, with Peter Parker, he has five cartridges. Like, each costume has its own parts. Like, like Symbiote Spider-Man, he has unlimited webbing, and I think his web attacks are a lot, slightly more powerful. Spider-Man Unlimited, I believe, can turn invisible. Spider-Man 2099, I think, had super strength. And Captain Universe was essentially... God, man. God mode. Granted, though, you have to be hard to unlock it, so... By then, you probably won't need cheats. That's nice little bragging rights. And I think also, you 
No wait, don't lock the... To unlock Scarlet Spider and the... To unlock the Clone Saga costume, you just have to find the respective comic books. Speaking of, let's see if we collected them all. I mean, I know we missed two, but let's see what we collected so far. And I can say I'm not gonna probably let's play a lot enter Electro anytime soon. Let's see how many comics we got. Huh, we missed a good amount actually. Let's see, did we get any of the clone saga? No. Huh. Well, at least we checked. Until next time. So that concludes my Spider-Man Let's Play. I might do future playthroughs with the alternate costumes just to show you guys what they are. But so again, now let's. I'm gonna show you. Oh yeah, I do have the the other ones. Yes, as you see here, it just gives you unlimited webbing, and here they're just skin, just skin replacements. Which these are from the clones, the somewhat infamous Clone Saga comics. So, overall, see you guys in the future for my next Let's Play.